All right, well the motor key is easy. Just take the grub screw out and then drive it through from the back. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> now to get this thing out. I don't know if these are pressed in, maybe heat shrink fit. Who knows? I've never done one of these compressors before. It's going to take a bit of work, I think. Alright, well, I think I'm going to have to grip the stator from the inside using a proper puller and actually hook onto the inside surface of it. So I'm going to try and remove this bolt. Jam the uh, screwdriver into a hole in the table. Try and undo this. I think it's working. Got a mean spring washer on it. And lock it tight. Hmm, all burnt and black. It's been getting hot. And the rotor becomes, well, yeah, when it locks up, the uh, rotor's like a piece of metal in an induction furnace. These can get hot enough to melt the aluminum if they burn long enough. These rotors aren't pressed on either, they're just retained by that block washer and the shaft key. So, in theory, it should come off. Uh -huh. There we go. I think it's got a nice burny coppery bit. Oh, heavy little shit. Out. The shaft key. Don't know how I'm going to get a sprocket remover in there. Alright, I'm sure the uh, factory procedure doesn't involve drilling and tapping holes into the stator and using a uh, cut down Jaguar sub axle as a pulling component. But it's about the only thing I've got at the moment. I'm also heating this top bit up so that the whole housing expands. See how this goes. I'm using a uh, wheel axle hub puller. Well. I'm getting the press in with a hydraulic press, so that's uh, just pulling all the laminations out. The other option is just to cut it with a 9 inch grinder. I know there's probably a machine designed specifically for pulling these stages out. Because I cannot figure out how they really do it otherwise.
the uh, fire inside, but it's coming out. Well then, that's that. Uh, obviously they either use a very big press or maybe a heat shrink bit. Heat the housing up and stick the cold stator in there and let it shrink into place. The only theory I've got. And it wasn't that bad that the uh, brake hub puller couldn't get it off. But only with a bit of heat. So I'm guessing it's maybe a heat, heat fit. I'll heat the housing up press the stator in with moderate pressure and then the whole thing just closes up on it. That little key in there is only to stop it from floating around if the housing gets hot enough to let go. But uh, yeah, that's a tight fit. That's all for tonight. Thanks for watching. Hmm, bug zapper just went off.